ladies and gentlemen, I am rested, I am ready, I wanted to cover this last stream, but I was just too tired and didn't want to get too depressed before going to sleep, so I decided to sleep on it before actually covering it. Um, there's this YouTuber by the name of I'm Alex. alright, this is gonna fucking suck. There's a YouTuber over here by the name of I'm Alex. he's got 2 million subs, uh, he's been making content for a very, very long time, and I never liked him. Literally never liked the guy. Um, not only because his sense of humor is bad, and because he sounds like he's insane, is very annoying. He has built a brand on being the, the wholesome commentary channel guy. He's like, he cares about people's mental well-being and shit. And whenever you have someone who cares about people's mental well-being and shit this publicly, they're obviously hiding some skeletons. This is the ultimate freaking... G g goddamn grift in the universe. People that make believe they're incredibly wholesome, uh, kind-hearted people that care about love and crap, and uh, and they they don't. They're not. He also uh, promoted a lot of fake allegations towards Slazo, an ex-friend of his, that he basically promoted an entire story about how he's a sexual abuser uh, and rapist, basically. And that was all proven falsely. He got off basically completely scot-free. He kept making little videos in his own little fucking echo chamber bubble. Uh, the same cringe shit, constantly promoting a wholesome mental health crap. Uh, and now the biggest surprise of all time happened when all these allegations just got leaked yesterday um, about how he was allegedly abusing his girlfriend. Uh, now this was a big surprise to me, mostly because I thought he was gay, but also because holy shit, that's so crazy. This guy said he's a nice guy and cares about mental health and cares about abuse victims. How is it possible that he's not any of those things? Crazy! So, uh, my editor's gonna roll my initial reactions to this tweet when it dropped. Like, it dropped while I was live, um, and it was, like, it just, it took me by complete shock, and I didn't want to cover this at all. Uh, but I slept on it, and I decided I really do want to cover this. I'm gonna fucking bash your fucking head against the wall with a brick if you don't shut the fuck up. You what the fuck? Who says that? Because this one, genuinely, this one, this one, you, you fucked this, royally Dude. fucked this. What? Uh, I what is going on right now? I I am so confused. What is this drama? So I'm Alex. Gets exposed for being a vile piece of shit towards one of his girlfriends or ex-girlfriends now, who came out and exposed him. One of the clips on my Twitter is him threatening to bash her head against a wall with a brick. Look, don't say I didn't try and warn you about I'm Alex. He's always been a piece of shit. Now we're going to see it firsthand from someone who's interacting with him and been a, a relationship with him behind the scenes. God knows I will be making a video on this. It's going to take a little bit because there's a shit ton of stuff to talk about. But don't count me surprised. That guy's always been a little bitch. I don't know. Ever since I, I, I saw I'm Alex once do a, uh, a whole ass video, didn't he? Sorry, I'm not nice when it comes to admitting to sexual abuse and manipulation peace. Didn't he do the whole fake Slazo allegations? Wasn't that him? This is crazy. Oh my god. 82 page Google Doc? Oh lord of mercy. This dude here, Sensitive Society, dropped a video on the I'm Alex allegations where he covers a bunch of them, I imagine. A bunch of the major points and talking points and shit. So I'm gonna go through it. I want uh, I want to see like what other people are saying about this. Because I have two very, very basic opinions on this. So, yeah, let's see where this goes. I have two really, really major insights. One is basically about uh, the grandstanding piece of shit is like actually a piece of shit. And two, um, turns out if you're promoting false allegations against people, well karma's a bitch. I, I have a lot more things that I wanted to say about this, so let's get this party started. This is just a disgusting, like, awful, vile rabbit hole pit. Now, to be clear, these are allegations at this time, but also to be clear, no one should talk to anyone the way this guy's been talking to his ex-girlfriend. You guys know the meme that goes, when the random e-celeb you dislike oh. for just being dumb no. and annoying and unfunny finally is outed for a legitimate reason to dislike them. Yes, I know that meme. People are like, God, I can't wait until Nux actually has skeletons in his closet so we can do this shit to him. Bro, it's like, whenever I make a good point, people like drop the, uh, when the worst person you know accidentally made a good point. You know, like that shit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sometimes it just feels nice. This doesn't feel nice. This is awful. I wish this never happened. That said... I'm not surprised. 
him. Well, Aside the from the fact that he's right straight. Here with I'm Alex is a definition. I, I like for me the biggest shock here was like not that this guy's actually abusive because he promoted false allegations against uh, an ex-friend. That, that's, that's the fucking one of the, one of the worst things you could fucking do. You backstabbing piece of shit. Uh, but aside from that, um, he's also not gay, which is huge, huge. Doesn't really matter, but like I'm just shocked personally. Of this meme. Now, before we get into it, before we get into the 82-page Google document. Oh! <laughs> 82 page document <laughs> that's awful and i already took a look at it but i think it's important to remember that these are all allegations for now despite the fact yeah, that right. i don't like i'm alex at all despite the Me fact either. that he never gave slasso the benefit of the doubt true. despite all of that true you know, we're like, God, I'm, I'm so happy that, you know what i mean i'm so happy that this sensitive society fellow is actually covering him for like the piece of shit that he is um my guy my gamer my dude this guy rolled out there peddling false allegations. Even if these allegations are false, it's still karma. I'm just saying. I hate to be that guy. We're not that scummy. We're not that... I'm not saying that anyone should obviously believe any of these false allegations or send him harassment until he responds. Obviously, don't do that. Don't be a weird piece of shit. However, 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 I know they're allegations, but no one should talk to someone else like this ever, okay? You, you don't believe how bad this gets. That's stupid. It pains me to say this, but I have to be fair to respond, to say, no, she's lying and here's the proof, or no, she's telling the truth and I'm sorry and I'm a horrible person. Because they're being accused of some extremely serious stuff. It all started today, June 15, when I'm Alex's ex-girlfriend said, here's my statement on the situation I've been scared to speak out on. It's best yeah. it was made public yeah, how horrible yeah, this yeah. person with the platform is. Yeah, I'll yeah, hate to yeah, see another yeah. woman go through this. It's yeah. an 80-page document and of course, God there's damn. no way i could possibly cover this and if i do the video will be like seven hours long so i'm just gonna highlight the most important stuff i'll be sure to link this down below so in case you guys want to read through it, it starts off with yeah. so it, it is kind of ironic that um like people in my like commentary niche space like uh i don't know i guess the uh the the wendigoons the the freaking mudahar oompaville even turkey tom and people like that none of them get these documents made about them i'm just saying it's always the fake wholesome people. God, why why are the fake wholesome people always such pieces of shit? I don't understand. It's crazy. It's crazy. I'm more shocked he has a girlfriend. I genuinely thought he was gay this whole time. <laughs> Bro stole my whole thunder. No! No, God. No, but uh, the thing is, like, people, the grandstanding pieces of shit that are just there saying that oh, guys we all have to be incredibly wholesome to other people if we're not wholesome to other people and lifting each other up then then we don't deserve to be where we are we always need to sit here and we always need to sit here and and, and feel in love with the others and and promote positivity and love that's why i i don't want him to start drama with anybody i'll just the bro yeah all right piece of shit trigger warning mentions of sa suicide depression Yikes. and assault this is a sensitive subject to me as i have struggled to figure out how to put into words i have been threatened by alex to not come out with anything at all and keep quiet duh duh he knows this is gonna nuke his career imagine not only sexually harassing and sexually assaulting someone but also threatening them to be silent because you don't want it to hurt your bottom line that's crazy. Or he will create a contradicting story to discredit my own. No matter what is said in his response to the statement, I know I've said my piece and can move on with my life. I made this document as a compilation of experiences while being with Alex. We had known of each other for years before we interacted, and we're seeing each other for a few months before anything was official. We started officially right. dating March 17 of 2023, giving each other 100% of our attention, time, and effort with no arguments. After that time- uh, that, that should be every relationship, by the way. Oh, we spent the first few months giving each other all of our attention. No, 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 no. That's a red flag. You should be dedicated to give the rest of your life to this person that you're committed to be with. All right? Every moment that you are together, you should be giving them 100% of your attention. Time passed and small things became huge issues, which were over Discord at first. Ah, dating over Discord? No. Ah, why would you date someone over Discord? This is, oh my God. No, I'm Alex. Never fall in love over a Discord. Real? Doesn't matter if oh. you have a thousand followers or a million followers. Eventually the Discord screenshots will come out. Like Bro, that's not the issue. The issue isn't that the, the screenshots will come out. 
dog. The issue is is, is that th this is a connection made from um, b because you just happen to be in the same server at some point. You happen to be somewhat friendly with some random person and you, you take it to a, a level of romance beyond what Discord is designed for. Bro, half the people you meet on Discord are complete degenerate freaks. Like me. Like, that is why I never use Discord. Well, not because I'm a horrible person, but if you take oh, a look at every... That's, uh, that's why I never... <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! What did he just say? A thousand followers or a million followers, eventually the Discord screenshots will come out. Like, that is why I never use Discord. He doesn't use Discord because he's afraid the screenshots will come out? Oh, Lord. That's rough, buddy. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. How did this make it to the final draft of the video? And anyway, obviously, he's not self-reporting or anything, I hope. Uh, 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 probably. Um, but um, uh, so for me, I, I have become so paranoid when it comes to content creation and my relationships with other content creators, especially like on, on the Internet, unless it's literally my close friends. And I can only think of like probably five people that I would be this comfortable with, maybe 10. Um I will never send them a message that I assume won't be publicized later. I've gotten so paranoid being backstabbed by so many people over the years. Every time I send a message, I am immediately thinking, oh shit, what if this gets posted publicly later? Will this make me look bad out of context? That is literally the first thought that goes through my head before I send a message to almost anyone. Now, are there are only a couple of people out there that I genuinely trust and would send like fucking anything to like i don't know oompaville uh mudahar animac briggs like uh i don't know Th there aren't a lot of people out there that i would actually just message you know I i'm uh I'm, I'm a bit of a paranoid schizophrenic it's kind of my gender now well not because i'm a horrible person but if you take a look at every single situation we've taken a look at 99 percent of the allegations and situations all starts over discord i mean i don't think it's like a discord fault i think it's uh, a relationship over discord is obviously not a relationship where these two people actually know each other uh, i think that's that that's kind of more where my headspace is at um a relationship is very important for a lot of people and it's very real and uh, it's something that you need to make real. And it's not something that you could just turn off. And I feel like a lot of relationships over Discord or over the internet are relationships that you feel like you could turn off. Where you could date them as your online persona instead of who you actually are. It's a bit of a clown moment. Discord is the downfall of so many YouTubers. These small arguments worsen to the point where he will turn on his camera and start shouting at me on call. We actually have footage of that. And this is the thing. This is why I fucking go round and round in circles. I joined cool. And when I'm getting, you're talking to me, going, this is the thing, even though, now, now, when it's too fucking late, you admit that you did everything fucking wrong, but when it actually matters, when you should lay down, like a good fucking dog, you don't fucking do it. What the fuck? Who talks like this to another human being? Like, what is going on? You fight, for some reason, I don't know why you fight, because you're losing, because you end up admitting that you fucked it all up anyway, so it's just fucking weird. And I know that you're gonna end up admitting that you fucked it all up. Is it generally- You fucked it all up. I can't believe you actually fought for it. You, you fucking piece of shit, you dog. You should lie down in the dirt. Oh, alright. And then this dude will go out there and make videos. Guys, I think we need to make videos respecting, respecting women. Women deserve more respect in society. Unfortunately, misogyny is running rampant these days. There's this guy out there. His name is Nux Taku. He said he made a, he made a gender equality joke. I think we should fucking murder him from behind. All right, he's never said that, but he's done the equivalent. Like, bro, because you're just fucking brain dead. Yeah, I'm very brain dead. Yeah. Is that why you decided to go on the fucking offensive instead of the Didn't uh maybe? Okay. I don't. Know, I don't know what to call what you did. It was weird. It's always weird. You always take the fucking weird route. Just do the normal route, which is, just do the normal route, but a normal girlfriend. Yeah, acting like oh, this I didn't, is I didn't all just it. me, and that's something you really need to fucking fix. I saw I'm gonna clip. fucking bash your fucking head against the wall with a brick if you don't shut the fuck up. You, because this one, genuinely, this one. This one? This one. You, you this fucked one. this. No, what? yeah, this, this one, this one. Holy okay. fuck this. This is the only time he's unhinged in his conversations with her and threatening violence. I like Disney. That, that's insane. Uh, that, that Honestly, that that's nutty. There, there is no conversation with anyone in the world that should ever get to that point. If your relationship gets to this point, fucking break it off. Get the hell out of there. Uh, whether you're the dude, whether you're the whammon, 
you don't want to be in any form of relation. This is this is vile, disgusting shit. There is no excuse for that. That's why whenever I hear like um uh wait for both sides, I am a wait for both sides guy. But there is no context in the universe that makes that okay. Literally none. None. If she's really that bad, break up with her. All right, dude. Like, there is no context that will make a clip like that be normal. And it has nothing to do with talking to women badly, okay? All right? Listen, listen. I'm, I'm on a podcast with Oompaville, all right? I, I have to keep up my, my, my misogynist talking points. <laughs> yeah, that was a joke. Um, no, no, no. But um, uh, this is just any relationship. If a relationship ever gets to that point, <whistles> nip it in the bud. Get rid of it. Yoink. Goodbye. Goodbye. It's to be treated carefully, especially extremely serious stuff. Regardless of that, it's still not a good look. She does share some... Not a good look? That's crazy and unhinged. Okay? There is no defending it. I'm, there is no defending it. I'm just saying. Uh, now, again, this is just... It's just a threat of violence. It's not actual physical abuse or sexual assault or any of that. So on my war crimes tier list, which I am totally working on, and let me just remind you, cannibalism, it's only C tier, all right? This is B tier. And cannibalism is C tier. Let that sink in! Messages between her and Alex, it does not make him look any better. So Alex says, no, no. The girl says, I'm with everyone, but I could leave. Don't worry. I'll just go to bed. Okay, LOL, what a day. Guess everyone has got something better to do. Nobody wants me around. <laughs> Based, real, true, true, truer words have never been spoken, Alex. Actual king shit. Bro, bro should have kept that up. It's class. I love this. I love this. This is legitimately me when someone ignores me for more than five seconds. I'm just like, okay, everyone hates me, I guess. I guess everyone. Real, real, real. The thing is, I have enough self-love and a powerful support system. And, and I'm like actually comfortable and confident with myself. And that's why whenever I see these fucking hate threads with, the, the, you know, 10 million views on them talking about how Nux is probably evil and a predator and shit, it just kind of makes my day a little better. <laughs> <laughs> like it just makes me a little happy. I'm still relevant living rent free in the hearts of these, these fuckers What well, I guess everyone else has better things to do than than to talk to me like do you know who you're talking to? Then Alex just says join 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 Guessing a discord call maybe she says you can't give me 10 minutes to calm down and then talk Then he responds with am I a mind reader? What? You hung up on me before I could say anything you fucking retard. You knew. You knew. Stop calling me that shit, Alex. How much did that piss you off? Cry. I don't care. It's just the pe Dude, this is not a relationship that should be continuing. If a relationship ever gets to that point, dip. It has nothing to do with being exposed in the future. It's just, what are you doing? Dude, th this is like actual baby shit. Like, how old is Alex? Dude is 25 years old. You cannot be doing this, bro. Like, I could see people getting all petty and possessive and, and shitty in high school. But, like, what on earth is this? Uh, this is extremely funny because I'm Alex is someone who hates this type of language. True! Dude, all these people, it's like, oh my god, did you say the R word? We should cancel you because you said an ableist slur. A slur that is ableist. There might be a, a cripple person somewhere that heard you say the R word and, and it maybe made his day a little worse and therefore we need to cancel you. Bro, this is literally his co typical community shit. That's what I'm saying, dude. I'll... It's not all of them, obviously, but there is a subset of the overly politically correct, uh, just grandstanding, morally fucking bullshitting pieces of trash that are sitting there and always being like, oh, did you say the R word? That makes you a bad person. Then he goes in private and abuses his girlfriend. Like, what the hell, man? And he hates the N word. Uh, what if I told you there's footage of um, Alex saying the N word? Oh, that, that makes me happy. Calling his girlfriend the N word. Oh, like, yeah. this is exactly what I'm telling you guys. And I've been saying this for years. What, the N word? Every single YouTuber who looks so polite and so nice. and that, There's good news. There's good news. I have never looked polite and nice. Uh, as, as a polite, nice man that has saved m multiple people's channels from complete annihilation down the scenes, I have done my absolute utmost to make sure everyone is aware I am, in fact, not nice. I, I never want anyone to have that wrong impression of me, okay? Listen, I, I specifically do not upload nice moments onto my channel because I don't want people to think I'm nice. If you think I'm nice, you'll cancel me when I do something not nice. And I <laughs> am not willing to 
sully my persona with niceness. God. So wholesome is 1,000% hiding something. Yeah, okay. and, and the funniest thing is all the people that canceled me, this is when it really tipped me off. When I got canceled, like, uh, a couple of years back, and I just got absolutely destroyed by, like, dozens and dozens of, like, big creators on Twitter until, you know, the comeback. Uh, like, a lot of them were, like, these super wholesome, very nice people that promote mental health and shit like that and then just completely stab me in the back and the ass at the same time. You have no idea the amount of shit that I've seen behind the scenes. People saying uh, about me. Like, specifically about me. I've seen someone saying behind the scenes, if you if you associate with Nux, we're going to, like, ruin your career. So, obviously, that person is not going to want to associate with me. <laughs> Duh. And, and, like, and that person that made that threat, that person is a super nice uh, promoter of mental health and well-being on stream. It's like, dude, what what is going on? And uh, it's because all these, these fuckers that are, are sitting there literally sitting there and then posturing on streams and on videos dog you are not a better person than anyone watching your videos promoting positive shit does not make you a p not a piece of shit okay no one is not nice no one is not polite and the fact that i'm alex says the n-word and this is not from like 10 years ago by the way you can't be like oh he was just a teen i'm not here to cancel i'm alex over saying retard there's a lot more important stuff going on here True, but it does highlight the hypocrisy and i think it is worth bringing up for sure yeah he's saying stuff that he criticizes other people yeah, for yeah. i'm with i'm with mr sensitive society oh what i don't understand because i ain't got anything to fucking be stuck up over Who's stuck up over? I don't know, I can't take this man seriously ever. But for some reason, it's like, is it good enough for you? You get to do whatever you fucking want all day. It's like, and then you look like a fucking miserable fucking little cunt all the time. Damn. But like, your I face is annoying to look at. So, yeah, like I... dumper, leave, get out of there. What is wrong with you? And, and realize that this is all the stuff that's recorded. Do you imagine what's been going on that hasn't been recorded? I'm downstairs. Like, I actually fell off of looking at you. Which is why I sleep downstairs, so I don't want to have to go upstairs. Oh, you're taking all the Bro's sleeping on the couch, and he needed to make believe that he's sleeping on the couch by his own volition. Oh my god. It's like fucking woman, just like fucking. Fucking woman. Fucking woman. I gotta use that. That's good. Honestly, I'm Alex. That, that's, that's good shit. I like that. Fucking woman. Ask me to buy another one? Like, yeah. Ask me to buy another one? You're talking about buying another woman? What was that? Ew. Which is why I sleep downstairs. Yeah, yeah, right. Have to go upstairs and, oh, you're taking all the covers. It's like fucking woman just like fucking ask me to buy another one. Okay, ask me to buy more covers. All right, all right. That makes sense. He's, is he really getting this worked up because because she took the covers in bed? And, and he's going through this actual meltdown. Fucking woman. Fucking woman. Bro thinks he's Andrew Tate. <laughs> fucking woman. Like, you yeah, know, fuck yourself. Nigga, neither do you. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm Alex said the N-word? I thought I'm Alex was all about positivity and wholesomeness and, and not saying anything that's that's even remotely wrong and bad. Wow, I can't, I can't believe he would do this. So, what it's fun. about it. I don't go around fucking like it's extremely funny that he's always condoning that behavior and calling out people for saying retard and the n-word and being edgy content creators meanwhile Dude, I, I love it i love it it's 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 always this, these people i don't understand it's always these people god oh he's saying the same shit behind the scenes i knew there was something off about him i just always knew and i remember a long time ago i made videos about i'm alex and i would get hate me like Alex is so wholesome. He's so sweet. He yeah, all, all these people. It's so easy to see someone's wholesome and sweet on the internet. This is why you never trust an influencer, guys. You never trust an influencer. We're all liars and swindlers. Don't trust any of us, especially not me. Except for when I say this. This is the one thing you can trust. Harmony Butterfly. I wish I could show the people who left those comments Dude, like four honestly, or five years ago. Honestly, and they'll never turn around. You get hate for talk calling someone a piece of shit. Listen. Listen. There is no relationship that should ever get to this point. I don't know, man. I wish I could show this. Like you can smell fakeness from a mile away. You oh, can real. tell when someone oh, isn't real. genuine. I, I think honestly, I think that's like a, a content creator's spider sense. You, you get the spidey sense when you freaking become a content creator and just sniffing out the fakest pieces of shit on the internet. I, honestly, honestly, because you know how easy it is to be that guy. You know how easy it is to just completely whitewash your brand and your comedy to just become the generic pasty white guy number four thousand and sixty nine. 
Um, so, uh, like, I, I feel like Mr. Sensitive Society, you got that nose, that that content creator nose, and uh, unfortunately, the crowd doesn't fucking see it. The crowd is just like, "Oh my god, he's he's positive online. He must be a great person." I give him cum tributes. And they just pretend to be nice to foster a community. She says, and I'm throwing fits. Alex says, idiot, talk, talk. You text like a retard. Oh my God. So call me. You say everything's wrong over text. Oh, oh yeah. Call me because you say everything wrong. Because you're fucking nice. stupid. So call me. This is the wholesome YouTuber every 12 year old loves. Real. Okay. Yes, you clearly are. Bye. Fuck you. We're fucking idiot. You win. Fuck you. Fuck you. Understand I didn't call you because you were insulting me. Fuck you. Fuck you. Something that's obvious, nice. but I have to say here. There's always two sides to a story. Dude, I, I am not saying that she wasn't a piece of shit in the relationship. She very likely was. Now, that doesn't absolve Alex, okay? Two sides in every story. Every relationship, it takes two to tango. There's almost always going to be issues on both sides of almost every single uh, piece of shit relationship falling apart. Now, that said, let's say she is an evil piece of shit. Let's say, hypothetically, that does not make Alex's actions justified. He could dump her. He could literally just hang up Discord, Okay. Regardless of how I feel about Alex, I definitely do think he needs to respond to this and address these things. That's not to take anything away from the victim. It doesn't mean that- I wonder if dude is gonna honestly address anything. I feel like it's so, I'm Alex's brand to just kind of ignore it because he has nothing good to say. I know that's a shitty perspective, but I could so see him doing it. I'm just curious if I'm Alex is uh, like, um, what his dislike ratio is on his new videos, like how big this got. It's it, it's a it's tragic. Oh my god! I almost added his video to my playlist. <laughs> no, no! You go to my Adventure Time playlist, and it's like, mm, yes. What's the next episode of Adventure Time? And you have this random I'm Alex video in the center of it. No, that would be bad. That would be bad. All right, YouTube dislike checker. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. How we doing? How we doing out here on these streets? All right, so. It definitely did hit his YouTube, but it didn't hit his YouTube completely. 25% dislikes on his latest video. It's like, obviously that's not, that's not good. Right? Well, I'm not going to make believe that that's, that's not a, that's not a good thing, obviously. But like, the full brunt of this did not hit him yet. I could see him just trying to ignore it. Like, what are you going to say? Well, it turns out she was a piece of shit, and that's why I threatened to bash her face in with a brick. I'm sorry for saying the R word. I don't believe her. It's just the fair and right thing to do. Dude, honestly, it is the fair and right thing to do to wait for both sides. Don't send him any harassment. Don't send him any hate. He's probably a piece of shit. I can't imagine what kind of context justifies this instead of just breaking up with her. Even if she's evil, you can break up with her. You are not forced into Discord calls with her. Like, <laughs> sure, wait for both sides. I agree, wait for both sides. Unless, you know, you have video footage of him being abusive and stuff. What, what justifies that? Listen, I'm ready to eat my words on this if he actually comes out with a good response. All right. I'm glad she came forward and she's talking about this and she's presenting this. Now we got to wait for I'm Alex to respond and go from there. I think that's yeah. the best way to handle this type of situation. Yeah, we right. have the videos. Right. I'm just the asshole that's saying it as it is that no matter what his response is, I would be super, super duper surprised. Like, I was very... Um, open-minded about a lot of other one of these like allegation cases coming out i also always wait for the both sides thing until i make an opinion like literally every time i almost never cover allegations shit especially when there's only one side out because way more often than not unfortunately in the influencer space it's like this weird clout gobbling technique which is vile and disgusting however <sighs> however Aside from this man's past history of douchiness and past allegations uh, and promoting positivity and shit, I don't see any realistic reasoning why anyone can act this horribly in a fucking relationship and not just instead decide to leave. Like, other allegations are allegations without necessarily evidence. It's like a story. When I hear someone tell a story of how I met this YouTuber at a convention and then he, he fucking, he put his penis in my face and I was forced, I had no choice but to suck his dick. When I hear that story, I'm like, all right, I'm going to wait for the other side. Listen, I don't know. That, that's, that's crazy. I'm going to wait for the other side. We have videos here, okay? Like, come on, dude.
that are a thousand percent real unless it's all ai all right that would that would definitely send me we got these dms alex says call me she responds with funny man i just said i understand you and you said you hate me and goodbye have a good day man stop fucking talking over me you're unbearable to talk to i can't cope with it you got what you wanted see ya i didn't i wanted reassurance i got an argument instead shut up please Oof. fuck off oh my god I'm annoying for saying I still want to see you permanently. Oh my God. Shut the fuck up. I hate you genuinely. Like you <laughs> said this. Up. Then on, she man. says. And who says that dude? I, this is insane. After screaming at me in calls and disregarding everything I have ever said, he would explain how it's always my fault and that I should apologize. This sounds like an extremely toxic relationship. I get it. Couples have arguments, but this goes beyond an argument. I have never in my life had an argument anywhere near this level of magnitude. Y you don't understand. My argument is like, uh, did you not see that this was on the counter? And you, like... We didn't put it, you didn't put it away before the guests came. And I'm like, oh, I didn't notice that. And it's like, oh, okay. Please pay more attention next time. <laughs> like that's, that's the level of bullshit, garbage, low tier fights that I have in relationships. <laughs> Like, dude, that, that's the worst of it. You just heard the nuclear apocalypse of Nux, uh, of Nux fights. Okay, that that's how that's how crazy it gets. Like, I'm not gonna lie. That that's 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 pretty rough. That's pretty crazy when you don't see something on the counter and don't put it away, even though you were asked to clean the counter. Like, that's up there. Or a disagreement. Like anyone that's in a relationship knows you have highs, you have lows. But this is just crazy to me. I have never talked to anyone like this and not from fear of being canceled or oh my god what if someone leaks my dm this looks like a toxic abusive relationship in my opinion okay that's what i'm getting from these now could some messages from her end be cut out yeah but with the stuff we but dude i'm again this is not exonerating her i don't want anyone to think that i'm exonerating her i don't know her the, the other side here i'm sure she's a piece of shit too all right it, it takes two to tango bro i'm just saying uh, like, I'm not exonerating her. I just think Alex is a piece of shit. I don't think this is a contradiction in any way. We currently have right now what is available to us a pretty bad look for Alex. I'm gonna keep it real here. He sounds extremely uh, yeah. abusive I and manipulative. So. Yeah. No, it's just so, weird. It sounds pretty like, bad. There's sounds no bad. reason to be like this. Like, I get it. People have fights, but this kind of goes beyond that. Yeah, this, this, is this is not a fight. This is fucking awful. Not a disagreement or an argument. This is just trying to bury the person and trying to make them as shitty as they possibly can. That's just what I'm getting. She says, imagine I say I'm sad and I got this. Alex says, fuck off. <laughs> oh my, my God, who does this? How many, how many instances of this do you have? How many of these conversations are enough until they realize it's time to, to break it off? God, you know, you can keep reading how many... Oh, this is crazy. You've already told her to fuck off like 10 times. I think she got the mess. Always remember boss's golden rule. One in four streamers are assholes. Dude, I've been saying this for a very long time. One in four streamers are assholes. Listen, and coincidentally, only nine, only one in 10 streamers seem like assholes. However, in actuality, it's one in four. All right. So, so there are a lot of assholes that you just don't know are assholes. I'm just saying, this is the Nux golden rule. This is the golden ratio, the stream out of, stream out of asshole ratio. And it's like, brother, you're 25. Like if you truly want her to, you know, disappear from your life, just- Dump her, leave her. You don't need to ever get to this point in a relationship, ever. Block her and move on. There's no reason for you to be an extra prick about it. I was literally asking you questions and you kept going silent, like, I'm not stupid, deal with the consequences of being a cunt to everyone. What is that about? You're a fucking moron, mate. Can't stay blocked. Thanks, good night. Now you don't have to leave any calls. Fuck off. Then this conversation carries over. Oh my god, dude, this is crazy. It's crazy how long this is. Discord, I'm stupid woman. I don't want you. Go away. I want to be alone. More of the usual. Okay, As cool. you guys could see. Cool. We want you to be alone too, dude. We are literally, we want the same thing. Alex and I have, have a shared brain cell moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. right here it's just pages and pages and pages I of know. i don't know maybe, maybe i'm maybe i'm being biased because i haven't right i'm blessed i i thank god okay because i am in a fantastic wholesome ass loving relationship okay i got tegrity bro I, I i can't i can't even fathom being in a relationship like this ever first of all i've never ever in my life been in a relationship over the internet 
it's never happened. Like an actual relationship relationship, never, never, ever. So, so this is like a totally weird schizo dark timeline level of events. All right. But I, 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 I just can't get, I can't believe this. I literally can't believe this. Of conversations. We're barely in like page 23 out of 82. And this is one of the- 23 of 82 and he already said all of this. There's another 50 pages of this. Oh my God. This part's right here. Changes nothing. I haven't made anything up. Okay. You were being a cunt. I'm sorry. Yes. Adding two words in it, yes, makes no difference. Okay, then he just says the end. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yes, God, I love him so much. God, what a what a legend, what a fucking hero, this guy, this dude, and he cancels people for so much less than this. Uh, what? Dude, how do you have a career on the internet canceling people for for? Did he say the R word? Kill him, boys, and just annihilate him. And then then this is him, mask off, crazy. This is wild. Again, considering this isn't casual racism, this is professional. The part of the community that he belongs to, this contradicts everything he stands for in his video. Be nice, bye, bye. be positive. Bye. Uh, I hate bye. bullies Cook em. and homophobia Cook em, bro. Cook and em, racism. Society. And you're out here saying Get his ass. the craziest Jump shit. It has bitch. a lot more weight to it because yeah. he hates this kind of stuff, yeah, right? It's, it's the same thing he's always criticizing. He's oh doing yeah, everything yeah. he's criticized kill him. before. Brother, yeah, that was that was that was that was for for hyperbole. I don't actually kill him, okay? People could change. People could change. Do I think Alex will? No. But can he? Probably yes. Drugs are a hell of a thing. Really when I dubbed in 2016 over here. At this point, it was the second time he hurt me and I was scared. So I texted my friend. No, but the craziest thing is you see him in his videos, right? In his videos, he, he gives off this insanely like weird, fake ass, wholesome vibe. Dude, look, look at this. Look, like, I, 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 I can't. If you haven't seen I'm Alex videos, you will not understand, all right? You will not understand what I mean, but look at this. Look at look at how he talks. Can you put her picture back up? She this, deserves to be on the pyramid. This is she his latest the video. Dance. She deserves nothing. Well, I'm sure this won't have any adverse effects on her future. Uh, he, he cares about the adverse effects on her future. Uh, on Jojo Siwa's future. Yeah, he's very, very caring and loving. He cares and loves the, the, the children. That sounds wrong. But you get what I'm saying. You can't stand here and cry. I love oh my you. god, dude. Well, what is this intro to his video? Come on, bro. Can you talk for a second? Show us how, how, how wholesome you are? You're looking at him. Really? really? You, you know a thing or two about hiding something with a rebrand. Hmm, that's crazy. A quite disturbing. Oh, he does. She, th she's hiding something disturbing. Oh! Hello, everyone. I'm Alex. I'm Alex. Look how wholesome he is. He's so cute. And I'm back like a boomerang. See this boomerang? I've. Oh, god, dude. He literally said this right before getting obliterated on the internet. That's crazy. Got here? Um, they always come back, don't they? <laughs> uh, oh, god, that's like an eight-year-old woman. Oh, and an XL bully. Oh, no, maybe I've saved her. Oh, no, no, I haven't. Uh, oh, I, I just hit a, a small child. Oh, no, that's not a child, that's a dwarf. I'm not a child, I'm a dwarf! Oh, god. And it's not come back. Maybe. And you see why I think these guys are. <laughs> what is this? You know, everything deserves a comeback. Which? Oh! Did you hear that? Bro is literally cooking. Look at this. You ready, dude? Look at this. And it's not come back. He is about to spit fire right now. Are you ready? Maybe not everything deserves a comeback. Which? Preach, King. Preach, King. You you spitting fire right now, homie. You actual legend. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You you got him, bro. Maybe not everything does deserve a comeback. You know what? Words to live by. <laughs> okay. We're talking about Jojo Siwa today. <laughs> I love how he's, he's like doing this. Meanwhile, there is no shit. Jojo Siwa. Listen, I think Jojo Siwa is wild and insane. All right. I think the whole rebrand, the, the showing weird sex shit to children stuff. That's weird. It's weird, I'm not gonna lie. I think the JoJo Siwa stuff is weird. There is nothing in JoJo Siwa's arsenal of controversies that isn't nearly as bad as what's being released right now about I'm Alex specifically. I'm just saying, like not even close. To pick me up and I started packing, which is a video that we took a look at a few minutes ago when he said the N word. He follows me around the house, screaming random things at me. Nice. Trying to justify his actions nice, for going too nice, far. I recorded nice. this because I was scared that he would hit me again. Damn. I say again. Shit. Okay. Nothing. See, but that no evidence, right? That's just hearsay. No evidence. I'm not gonna believe that 100. percent All right. Listen. I'm all for. Listen. When when it comes to believing victims, I think that it's important to believe victims. 
But to believe stuff without evidence completely, that's delusional and unfair, okay? I am just here for the proof, okay? All, all these, these videos of him, that, that's proof. I don't think AI is good enough yet, okay? I'm just saying, I don't think AI is that good. I found everything on the floor and taken apart. The keyboard was smashed and scattered Crazy. everywhere. He claimed the keys had fallen off my keyboard when he was packing it all away. When I got home and plugged everything in, I found the monitor screens were both smashed to bits. Frick, and she dude, does what the hell? Show some pics. Again, this isn't evidence that he did it. I mean, did he do it? Probably. However, uh damn Big switch holy shit this is That's insane crazy. like if yeah. you're in Listen, a relationship again, no like evidence. this right now run no evidence until there's evidence i'm not gonna sit here and believe it okay i, I i'm not here to, to kill people and attack them based on no evidence all right we, we are here for the evidence and the evidence because if they hit you once you're gonna do it again and no one deserves right. i don't know i don't know man this is this is awful dude i hate this so much but yeah that, the major reason why i wanted to cover this is the fake shit i i hate the fake shit I'm not someone that sits there and covers allegation sh shit on YouTube, you know? Um, I don't like covering that at all. Don't get me wrong. But, like, what a fake piece of shit. I don't know. Maybe maybe all the DMs are fake. Maybe all the videos are AI. Benefited the doubt. But I doubt a lot. Serves to be hit. Like, the second you put your hands on a woman on like anyone. this is on just... Advocate of gender equality. You cannot assault anyone. <laughs> Advocate of gender equality. Second, you deserve to be absent. Is there, is this just allegations or proof Alex said this things? Well, if you're asking that question, you came in late to the stream. Um, I appreciate that you're asking those questions, but you know what? I'm just going to have this clip out just, just so I can show you. Uh, I want it to be clear. When I say I, um, I'm waiting for evidence and waiting for evidence and waiting for evidence, I'm specifically waiting for evidence in regards to stuff that there is no proof for. Okay? Only for the stuff there's no proof for. Anything that has a video, <laughs> like a video video, yeah, no. So I'm a fuck always weird. You always take the fucking weird route. Just do the normal route, which is... Just do the normal, right? But a normal girlfriend. You're acting like, like oh, this is all just it. me, and that's something you really need to fucking fix. I'm gonna fucking bash your fucking head against the wall with a brick if you don't shut the fuck up. You, because this one, genuinely, this one, this one. You and there's literally hundreds of clips exactly like this. Not even exaggerating. Hundreds of clips exactly like this. Okay. Uh, literally hundreds of clips exactly like this. Okay. Does that make it clear? So, listen, I'm not saying that I'm going to believe every allegation, but you can never, ever, ever come back from that. Like, in, in, unless you really do a long, long journey changing. Absolutely fucking beat up. I'm not saying if a woman's coming at you with a fucking AK-47 and a knife. Dude, that's an advocate of gender equality. If a man or woman is trying to kill you, you should kill them first. If I'm not saying just stand there and take it, no, defend yourself. When you feel yeah. like your life is in danger, do something about it. Doesn't care if it's a woman, a man, or a kid, punch them. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> all right, all right. I respect it. It could be a baby with a fucking machine gun. Do what you gotta do. I respect but when you it. hit a woman, when you put your hands on a woman for no reason, you're just lame. You're a fucking loser. I mean, lame loser. That's not exactly where I would go with this, but I, I get it. Yeah, I mean, you're lame and a loser too. Sir, at that point, All it right. sounds like he was extremely toxic, insane, and allegedly abusive. The least you can do in this situation is pay for whatever he broke. I'm actually looking forward to his. Re pay for whatever he broke, like the computer screens, dude. Paying for whatever he broke is not getting him out of this. Oh my god, dude. I don't understand. L listen, for me, when he he has betrayed every single one of the values he promotes on his channel, like he he goes on this whole like, uh, respect woman shit, and then this guy out here is in the, the the least respectful to woman women I've ever seen in my life. Okay, and then then you have him going on his whole freaking tirades about how saying slurs and offending people is bad. And this dude drops R words and N words every fucking two sentences to to insult this woman over here. Fucky woman, as he says, like. I think that uh, as an advocate of gender equality, men and women need to be treated equally. And you should not be abusing your, your fucking spouse or 
significant other at all in any way. If you ever get to the point where you even have thoughts like that, I think it's time to get out of there, bro. I, I don't see a future in any of this shit response and you know how he defends this so they broke up and after that um, that's a shock alex went absolutely insane just started to spam her everywhere so here we have alex sending like a million dms he continues this is like a classic abusive relationship oh my god i'm sorry give me a call i apologize oh. <laughs> Uh -huh, mm -hmm. please come back to me and you come back and then they beat you up or they kill you and now it goes over at instagram dm DMs. then wow bro hitting her up everywhere on instagram on twitter everywhere dude. he makes another account just to he made another account with 900 followers following one person to talk to her dude you are in absolute defense mechanism mode. You know that she dumped your ass and she is going to cancel the shit out of you on Twitter. Again, I want to make it clear. This could be fake, right? These messages, they could be fake. But I think they're real. Because this dude knows that his, his career is in absolute jeopardy. Mega freaking jeopardy. Reach out to her after the first one got blocked. Alice talked to me, you know, more DMs, more conversations. If there's any chance I could spend every day trying to make it up to you, I will. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, this right. sounds like a classic textbook definition of an abusive, toxic relationship. Yeah. So it just keeps going. It's just more. I'm Alex oh my Daggy. God. Look at this. What is this? Bro, she ain't going to forgive you. She dumped you. What are you doing? God. Every time I argued you, I pushed back because it was too desperate for this to be easy. I didn't know it was even left me, but you did love me, and I make it impossible for you, and I have still now game changing. I wish you could fix this. It's gonna be inside. I told you I loved you, and then I would get angry. Other stuff's pointless. I was scoring points in my head. I was frustrated. I would get. Alright, dude for her to come back. It, it, it's sad. It's fucking pathetic. Like, if someone. Yeah, I feel so bad for him. For, um. What, being scared that, that he's going to have his pathetic shit aired out in front of everyone? It's like, oh no, his oh no, he was abused, he was abusive, allegedly, and it was leaked, oh dude, it was leaked, oh, I feel, so, this is awful, this is tragic shit, it's so sad, it is so sad, bro, oh my god, he, he, I feel so bad for him that he was leaked, that he was abusive. Damn, that's crazy. Broke up with you because you were a piece of shit. Womp womp. So after spamming her over a hundred times easily, he starts sending her stuff via Amazon and <laughs> He starts sending her stuff via Amazon. Oh my god, dude has a, that skibbity toilet riz. I just bought you pamper diapers off Amazon. I figured maybe you'd enjoy it. Writing notes. And now we're getting to the point. Dear Alice, I'm so sorry for not fixing my behavior before and i understand this might be too late or too little i'll hurt you deeply and i will spend forever trying to make it up to you i'm sorry for blaming you for how i acted i didn't take responsibility for a toxic i become i should have never have made you excuses for shouting insulting and pulling you in total as night for more than anything in this world I'm willing to end it because I want to say I regret all these things now that I'm told in. Where he's writing handwritten letters That's to crazy. her. Now, two things could have happened here. The first one could have been. Yeah, the first thing could have been he actually felt sorry for being a piece of shit. The second thing could have been he knows he's getting canceled and he wanted to stop her. He felt remorse. The second of one, which I think is <laughs> the right answer. I don't know. He's kind of cooking. I know what he's going with this. He was pissing and shitting at oh, the yeah. same time, oh, knowing yeah. that this could get out there. Cook that fraud. Kill Cook him. his channel Cook and him. destroy his reputation. To start off, he already had a pretty shitty reputation for being a snake, for being a liar. I mean, you know, this man has been po po posted false allegations against Lazo, and I don't think he ever properly apologized for it. Like uh, again, that's 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 weird. It's a little weird. It's a little weird. Take a look at the I'm Alex channel. Two million subscribers. Uh, his last upload was two months ago. I believe he has another channel. All right. So I found his second channel or third channel. Oh my God. His last two videos were about JoJo Siwa. Holy shit. Whatever it is. And um, yeah, it's shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's what you would. It, it's what you would expect. Uh, Shout out to him. At least, at least he's goaded enough to do the same thumbnail face in all of his videos. I respect that honestly. That that's the correct grind set. 
Uh, anyone that, that doesn't put the same face in all of their thumbnails uh, to, to make fun of Sniper Wolf. I, like, I'm doing it to make fun of Sniper Wolf. He's doing it probably because he thinks it's based and cool. We are not the same. Uh, let me just be clear here. Doing this, this is awesome. Same face with the WTF in every thumbnail. Now, this is branding, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all y'all hating. Y'all hating, but this is branding, okay? I was talking to Destiny, and he was telling me, like, uh, how Mudahar needs to get better thumbnails. And I was like, bro, the trick is to have the same thumbnail face in all your videos. Now, the difference between my thumbnail face and his thumbnail face is simple. My thumbnail face is awesome. His thumbnail face is, I just did a lot of meth. We are not the same. Um, how do you manage to use the same fucking no! party face? Why is he getting him for this? No! In all of these videos! And I thought my thumbnails were not original. But no, no, but that, 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 that's a... <laughs> what is, what is that face? It's like, uh, what, what, do an expression, Alex. And he's like, all right. All right, I'll do an expression. How about I just did the Coke expression? I love that expression a lot. I, I do, I'll just sit here with my mouth a little bit open, uh, drooling just a little. But holy shit, this is a whole different level. Like this comment if you think Jojo Siwa is a better person. Yo! Oh, real true, real true. Don't say pre-watch this one comment on a random video in this guy's video, okay? Uh, that's, that's out of here. You Get know what's funny? The stuff you've accused others of in the past is what you've been doing yourself. Mm -hmm. We were in a heated argument screaming at each other where he was in my face belittling me for everything I do and have ever done calling me horrible names every insult you can think of and I started to cry and he looks at me with a straight face and sighs calls me boring and laughs I ended up wow. defending myself okay. I slapped him in the face this is out of character from Damn. me but he was screaming in my face I was backed into a corner not knowing what to do this happens then I grab my things and leave the flat and call my friend to tell them everything that just happened yeah, this is rough, buddy. Alex bans me to come back, and I end up giving in and going back because I'm scared. Oh, dude, that's so rough. Dude, break this relationship off. Oh, my God, it's not good for anyone. Bro, the, the rare case of W domestic violence. Let's go. I, I'm so glad she included this in her statement because I do feel like if, um, if Alex would have probably responded to this and say that she was abusive, she slapped me. Like, um, like at least she does mention it here. I don't know. Again, I, I think that they're both they're both probably shitty. Like, I know that this is an 82-page document talking about how Alex is shitty. And, dude, I honestly, again, I'm waiting to hear the other side. But from the videos I've seen, Alex seems pretty shitty. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. All right? Um, but that doesn't make her not shitty, too. It normally does take two to tango. Oh, my God. And here we have the DMs. It's just like the classic manipulative shit. Like, oh my god, please forgive me for giving you a black guy. Please come back. I promise I'll change. And then they fucking murder you. For legal Damn, and obvious okay. reasons, I won't attach all the evidence I have here. But in due time, it may be made public. He has tried to get me to stay quiet online and has suggested he will deny all of this. If this happens, I will release more undeniable evidence. So, like I said, this Google document will be linked below. Yeah. You just can't cover this and like... 10 20 30 minutes i read it all to me it just screams a fucking horrible toxic high school relationship yeah. you're not in high school anymore okay sorry first so i'm a fucking whore mouth bitch retard cunt is it generally because you're just fucking brain dead yeah i'm very brain dead yeah is that why you decided to go on the fucking offensive instead of the Didn't uh maybe okay Dude, I hate this so much. I don't, I don't know what to call what you did. It was weird. It's always weird. You always take the fucking weird route. Definitely not a good look. I'm looking forward to his response Oof. on this. I know he's heard about it by now. So we'll go from <laughs> yeah. there. And when he responds, uh, yeah, we'll definitely be talking about it here. With that said, what do you guys think of the situation? Let me know in the comments below. Long overdue. It's time for my boy Alex to whip out the ukulele and really, really sing his heart on this one. Yeah, it was a good video, Mr. Mr. Sensitive Society. I think this was like the first video of yours I've seen, and you did a good job on this one, man. Uh, like, I don't know, man. I I very much believe that no one was forcing them to stay in this relationship, especially not Alex. He could have ended it at any time, and uh, you always want to end a relationship before, you know, physically assaulting someone mental socially ex assaulting someone uh, harassing people b threatening to bludgeon their head against the wall with a brick like i don't know man uh, i don't i don't know this is awful it's fucking awful hypocritical and evil shit i don't know uh again i'm gonna wait for his response to see if he can clear up some of this but i don't genuinely see him clearing this up in a way that'll make me be like you know what i was wrong alex is a good guy but if if that does happen i'll eat my hat all right i'll, I'll eat my little jew hat 
uh, and and everyone will be everyone will be very surprised and excited to see him come back. But in the words of I'm Alex himself, the actual legend. I don't see him coming back from this. If you made it to the end, click one of these two videos, which also will definitely get me cancelled. See you live on Game. Stay weird, fam.